Hello, people. I just came back from an interview, y'all, and I need to give y'all my feedback. I've been looking for the perfect agency for me to work at. I've been interviewing for like the last couple weeks now, and I've noticed a huge difference in my interviewing style. I want to be as prepared as possible, but sometimes being too prepared can leave you looking kind of stiff. And I think that's how I came off the last interview I had with the, the last time I talked to you guys. I actually stopped prepping so much for interviews. And I started to take the approach as like me prepping to see if this is the agency that I want to work with. Do they have opportunities for me to develop? Do they have offices outside of just New York area? Like, who have they worked with in the past? Like, do I have any interest in working with them? It's not even for me to like drill myself in knowing the last awards that they've gotten or anything like that. Now, I just go in interviews almost just like fresh, like raw me. Like, but instead of just being like raw me, I'm like badass. I swear today someone asked me a question and before they can even answer, I already have the answer. And normally when people ask me questions, like my eyebrows raise, like, oh, good question. Like this time I was just like, like, and then answered like, yeah, actually I've done that for about like two to three years now being in the industry. Killed it, what you talking about? Killed it. I could tell she was trying to freak me out, but I like stared at her like, you done? Okay, so yes. Let me back up. So you guys know the last interview I had sucked and I had a moment where I wasn't getting any feedback from anybody for like two weeks. And so I was, that's when I thought that I just wasn't gonna get a job. And definitely thought that God had failed me. Like sometimes I feel like God wants me to fail. We could talk about that another time, but those were one of the times where I'm like, maybe, maybe God just doesn't want to give me a job, even though I want one really bad. But I'm pretty sure it's in one of those scriptures that God gives you what your heart desires. And there's another scripture that says, if you knock on the door, God will open the door. I interviewed for one of the top agencies that I want to work at. I wouldn't even know where to rank them because I wasn't even thinking about them because I got rejected by them in Chicago, like way bad. I applied and the recruiter reached back to me and called me, didn't even email me asking questions, like straight up called me immediately. She set, set up an interview with me working on a digital account and I didn't get the dang on after that. Um, so I just thought it was over. But then at the same agency, there was another position that was open up that kind of tailored more to my background. So I reached out to that recruiter again after she sent me the rejection letter telling me that I did not get the position. I was like, yeah, thanks. But then I also flagged to her that there was another position that was more tailored to my liking and my background. And guess what? Old girl hit me back and was like, you know what? This would be perfect for you. Let me set up an interview. And tell me why that was the last interview I just came from today. And they just soaked me up. They love me, y'all. And the difference is, y'all, is that I came in there knowing that these jobs were mine. One thing that I will say that really helped me from Corey's tactic on like how to get interviews is straight up writing down everything that I've done and trying to get a better understanding of the impact, impact that I've made on each project. And then looked at other descriptions of maybe positions that you are qualified for or are, are like kind of over your pay grade and see how your experience may compare. And then kind of steal some of the description from there and be like, yup, did that, and give an example. So guys, I am happy to say I am three interviews deep in rotation at the last stage of each interview process for each agency. And I guarantee you, I'm getting all three offers. Just want to come back with the heat. I also wanted you guys to at least feel empowered if you're in the same state that I'm in. God came back, honestly, with the greatness. And God reminded me that, like, cut the it. I actually am made for this. Another thing that I want you guys to, like, do that I just realized that I've done is own these interviews. One thing that Corey told me was, like, you want to get to a point 
where you are in charge of the interview. You flip the responsibility. I start off always by like giving them a spiel of my background, of course, and that's when they're like kind of owning most of the interview, right? But then I get to a point where like I'll use the opportunity to ask them a question. One of the questions I love to ask to juniors sometimes, maybe not like a CEO or anything, I'm like what are you looking for in a whatever position that you're applying? And they tell me what they're looking for, right? And then after that, I'll be like, that's really interesting because, and then you link in what you've done in your career to relate it automatically to like what they're looking for. They said they're looking for someone who can help move the team along and like keep the team kind of on task. And I was like, that's interesting because that's literally what I did at, you know, the last agency that I was at. And then I would give an example. Your posture says everything too. Like, instead of looking too confident, I like to look comfortable. I know that sounds bad, but like my idea of looking comfortable is to express my, with my hands because I want them to know what it's like to work with me. This is going to be me, like if you guys do accept me, you know? I give them a little bit of the Patricia energy. I don't want to give them too much. I want to give them enough for them to see like, oh, this is who she really is, you know? I want to find a way to like own the interview instead of them owning it because then it just makes you that's how you leave the interview feeling like unsure if you've gotten it or not but I've definitely owned the last few interviews that I've been on I definitely have like started interviewing them you want to get to the point where we're interviewing them and then I always remind them that I'm also interviewing you guys to see if this is the best fit for me so anytime I say something about or anytime they explain what they're looking for or what type of agency they are. I always remind them like, okay, thanks for sharing because I'm looking for a place that does this and that for me that serves me this way. And now I'm not trying to get too specific on what type of place that I want to work for, but I work it into my favor. So you tell me what you want and I tell you that that is what I want basically. But I say it in a different way and I'm honest about it. If you know your industry, you know the like pros and cons of the industry, right? And you want to be able to like not say anything that's like doesn't compare to what the industry is like. I know the PR industry is really big on people who take initiative and who are creative. So I say like I'm really looking for a place where I can I can own my creativity and I can knock on someone's door and share it and people are open to listening. So what does that mean? That means that I take initiative. That means that I like going above and beyond. I think beyond just the everyday work that I do. I killed it. Oh, and another thing. I decided to change my look. So I was going for this like big hair looks because I want people to know that I'm like this big hair blah 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 blah. But I decided to tweak it a little bit. Like let me show y'all. Like you see that? Look at this. Killing the game out here y'all. I'm just, you know. Anyway, you guys should be able to trust me in front of a client because Patricia is polished dude. So I decided to kind of keep it very conservative, but like this one time I went the interview that I went to last week, I swear I just took the interview so far and owned it so far that the girl stopped mid-sentence as she was like talking to me about like her background and she's just like, you're super trendy, like really trendy, love your outfit. That's what you want to do. Like, you need to be strategic about even how you dress so you can, like, they, you need, they need to remember you. You know what I mean? You got to give them the sauce. You feel me? Like, you got to give them a little bit of sauciness. Let me be clear. I am not feeling myself. This is being prepared. That's what it is. It's being prepared. Like, I'm prepared for all y'all. Any trick y'all got up y'all sleeves. I'm ready, I'm ready for y'all. And that's what y'all wanna be. Have that attitude, I need y'all to have that patty tood to y'all, you know? Anyway, okay, I'm really out. I really appreciate you guys. And I can't wait to have another video possibly sharing the fact that I have three offers to pick from. So maybe you guys can help me pick which offer to get. Peace and love, talk to you soon. Love, Trish.